here today to ask you to consider a resolution that other communities, towns, cities, and states have been passing throughout the nation in response to a constitutional crisis. In the year 2002, President George W. Bush signed into law the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act, otherwise known as the McCain-Feingold Act, that enabled the regulation of corporate political campaign contributions to political action committees. But in 2010, the U.S. Supreme Court, in its Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission case, voted five to four to overturn the McCain-Feingold Act and frustrate the efforts of both political parties to limit corporate campaign spending and its disproportionate influence over our electoral process. The court went even further in its decision by ruling that corporations are people and that spending money is a form of speech that cannot be regulated for the purpose of limiting corporate political campaign contributions. In response to the Supreme Court's decision, a nonpartisan groundswell is developing in support of a new amendment to the U.S. Constitution that will reverse the Supreme Court's decision. A constitutional amendment is the only method provided by our Constitution to overrule a Supreme Court decision. Historically, the process of instituting new federal constitutional amendments has begun with the grassroots and worked its way up the system in a democratic process that starts with groups of concerned and involved citizens, then continues with resolutions by local governments in small towns, cities, county governments, and eventually with state governments petitioning Congress to pass the amendment. So that's why I'm approaching you today to ask that you join in becoming an important voice in this process that will help in returning our government back to the people and reversing the distortion of our political process created by the influx of massive sums of corporate money into political campaigns. Corporations are not people and should not be granted the legal and inalienable rights of people guaranteed under our Constitution and recognized by our Declaration of Independence. Corporations can reside in multiple states and countries simultaneously. A corporation can exist for hundreds of years. A corporation cannot be incarcerated or executed for a crime. A corporation cannot enter into a marriage contract or conceive a child. A corporation cannot obtain citizenship or be issued a passport. A corporation cannot be enlisted in the military. A corporation cannot vote in an election. A corporation has no birth certificate or death certificate. Money is not a form of free speech. It's a form of power. Corporate money has overwhelmed our political system so thoroughly and effectively that ordinary citizens can no longer compete with this corrupting influence. Our government is no longer of, by, and for the people. Our elected representatives are all too often bound by their indebtedness to the corporations that have poured money into their political campaigns. Public policy more and more reflects what is to the benefit of corporate profits rather than the public benefit. And these two purposes are very often not the same and are mutually exclusive. Disproportionate corporate influence over public policy is clearly an issue that is important and relevant to the business of local governments including the Dillsboro Town Board. And so I'm submitting this resolution to you that if passed, will go to the North Carolina General Assembly. If you pass this resolution, you will join other local governments throughout the state who are, as we speak, considering the same action. Locally, the town boards of Franklin, Highlands, and Bryson City have already passed this resolution. Elsewhere in the state, those who we know of who have passed similar resolutions include Asheville, Chapel Hill, Carborough, and Orange County. We are also in the process of gathering legislative support in the North Carolina General Assembly to petition the United States Congress to pass this new constitutional amendment and send it back to all 50 states for ratification. We already have several Western North Carolina legislators who have agreed to introduce such a resolution in the coming legislative session this May. Three states have already petitioned Congress 
New Mexico, Hawaii, and Vermont, a similar petition has been introduced in Wisconsin and now the state of Washington. In Alaska, the state Senate has passed it, and it's pending in that state's House of Representatives. Let's make North Carolina the first state in the southeast to step forward on this important issue. I ask the Dillsboro Town Board to put this resolution on your agenda for your next meeting and become a part of this rapidly growing movement by passing. Thank you. Very fair. Any questions for Mr. Friedman? No, it's that late familiar with what he was talking about. I think everyone is sadly familiar with what he's talking about. I was actually quite shocked when the Supreme Court ruled that uh, five to four of the corporations were keeping themselves. Then again, courts do funny things sometimes. I, we have a copy of the resolution doing that. I'd support putting it on the agenda for next meeting. You, you want to make a motion to put it on the agenda for next meeting? I will make a motion that we put the resolution um, regarding the Supreme Court decision on corporations to be put on the next uh, agenda. Okay. I have a motion from Jim. Do I have a second? Well, I don't have a second. We'll have to think about it.